Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiplied choice questions for you and here is the first question during transcription which strand is not read by the RNA polymerase and if you are confused which answer to choose here is my explanation imagine that here is the one strand of the DNA here is another strand of the DNA and uh, two strands of the DNA here shown during the process of transcription. So here is a message RNA and I am using the same color for this message RNA and for this strand of the DNA because when we have here for example adenine, adenine and adenine on this strand of the DNA we have also adenine, adenine and adenine. And when we have here cytosine and guanine for example we have here also cytosine and guanine so as you see uh, whenever we have anything here the same code we have on this strand of the DNA that's why we call this strand of the DNA coding strand of the DNA because uh, code here or sequence of the uh, bases would be the same as here with only one exception when we have for example uracil here, here we are going to have zymine because zymine in the DNA would be replaced with uracil in message RNA and message RNA would grow in this direction so this is uh, going to be 5' end, this loose end and of course uh, 5' end we would have here on this coding strand of the DNA, 3' end uh, here and 5 prime and here for the other strand of the DNA and 3 prime and here. So when we have uh, for example AAA here on this strand of the DNA we are going to have zymine, zymine and zymine because um, adenine base pairs with zymine and cytosine with guanine and guanine with cytosine. So that's why we call this strand of the DNA uh, template strand of the DNA and uh, also we can call this strand of the DNA non-template strand of the DNA and this uh, strand of the DNA we also call non-coding strand of the DNA and other names would be positive strand for this one and negative strand for this one. So as you see there can be confusion because there are so many names for these two strands of the DNA but I hope that my explanation cleared uh, how these two strands are named so uh, once again this is going to be coding strand of the DNA this is going to be non-coding strand of the DNA another name would be uh, template strand of the DNA and negative strand of the DNA and here we would have positive strand of the DNA and uh, also we can call this non-template strand of the DNA and now you can answer our question and our question during transcription which strand is not read by the RNA polymerase and of course this strand would be read by RNA polymerase and this one wouldn't be read by the RNA polymerase and this is going to be coding strand of the DNA and as for the uh, terminator strand there is no such strand so we just can cross out this answer completely and next question the central dogma in uh, genetics describes and here is the four answers to choose from answer A is the pattern of the information flow in the cell B the pattern of chromosomal inheritance in populations, answer C is the role of mutations in disease and answer D the role of promoters and imagine that this is double stranded DNA once again one of the strands would be used as template in order to make message RNA and uh, this is going to be first step in protein production and the next step uh, this message RNA 
would be used in order to build a protein uh, sequence. So this flow of information from DNA to RNA and to protein we call uh, central dogma in genetics. So as you see the correct answer would be answer A. This describes the pattern of information flow in the cell. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.